Knife heads. How's it going? Well, today is Tuesday, and I'm sitting in the school pickup line, the parent pickup, to get my kids. And I figured, let's get ahead of things, and let's get Wednesday's episode of, you ready for it? Open Tag by Georgia Adventures, Warren Cliff Wednesday. I just got one of these Warren Cliffs and I really like it and I wasn't going to show it until I got to uh, carry it a little bit but as we all know I, I made that video this morning that I was going to carry these four knives I got for a week so that means I ain't going to be able to carry this knife for a week because I'm trying to cut back on my knife carrying while I was carrying six, seven knives a day. I've been doing that for years. And that's rough trying to cut down. And if you hear a little baby in the background, that's my baby girl, she's with me. She's in the back seat mumbling. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really rough trying to cut down on your knife carrying. So I figured I'd bring this this uh, knife with me and I would show it. I ain't going to say nothing about it. I'm going to show it this one time. And then when I, when I get uh, this week's up, when I start put these knives out and switch my rotation, I'm going to add this one that I'm going to carry it. Then I'm going to come back on probably another Warren, uh, Warren Cliff Wednesday and let you know what I think about it. If that's okay. Now, I haven't had a chance to clean this knife up. The uh, bolsters is, is a little dull. So you got to bear with me. I'm going to clean it up. Next time you see it, this knife will be nice and shiny. That I promise you. But, are you ready to see it? You say, Big E, show that dang knife already. I don't know if you guys are ready for it. Let's let let's see it. Let me show you. Just keep in mind now, I ain't going to tell you nothing about this knife. I'll tell you who who made it. That's it. Look at that baby. This is a Coke bottle. With the Warren Cliff. It's got that great swedging. Boy, it's, it's got a swedge to it now. This is a Great Eastern Cut Cutlery, a GEC Northfields. Says it on the blade. I can't see. I can't see if you, if you guys can see that or not. 
the sun's pretty bright. It does have a half stop. You hear that little snap? Let's look down Broadway on this bad dude. I can't see nothing, guys. I apologize. But that's right down Broadway. One thing about these GECs, man. They do not play around when it comes to fit and finish on a knife. That baby's going to be straight. I hope you guys enjoy this little guy. Look at that shield. But I'm going to carry this for a week. Then I'm going to come back on here. Probably... What would it be? Uh, two went in, uh, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. And I, I'm going to tell you everything about this knife. But it's white bone, as you can tell. But wait, but wait. Don't go nowhere. I am going to show you this one. I ain't showed this one either. This is a white ball mini trapper from Case. Here's the Warren Cliff on this blade. You hear that pop in? I'm getting a uh, GR knives and outdoors. He's making me a pocket organizer, and he's making it where I can carry a sodbuster and a mini trapper in it. Cause thanks. To Georgia Adventures, he got me liking these Warren Cliffs. He challenged everybody to go get one. Remember? You know you did. <laughs> and now I've been buying the crap out of Warren Cliffs. But this knife is 6207W. S S <laughs> Perfect, buddy. Look right down Broadway on this one. My fingers in the way, ain't it? Perfect. Straight down Broadway on both of them blades. But that is, this knife here is pretty much mint condition. I haven't carried this knife yet. This is white bone too. I've been thinking about getting somebody who can do laser etching where this is white bone I've been thinking about getting someone to put Big E's knives and then burn the burn it in after they laser it if any of you classy knife heads out there knows where I can get this lasered on the pal side Big E's knives then then uh, burn it where it be black or dark rather hit me up in the comments or my email is in my description you can hit me up by email whichever way you want to do it and if you know how to do it and you don't charge an arm and a leg 
hit me up and I'll send it to you. Cause that's what I want to do with this knife. Maybe if you maybe if you gotta put big E right here, right beside the bolster, and then put knives on the back. That'd be pretty cool. But that's what I want to do with this knife. Cause after he makes me that slip, I'm gonna start carrying this knife. You hear that? I'd like to get one of Randy's coffin slips. But I don't know nothing about that Etsy. I don't even know what Etsy is. So if any of y'all know how to get me a, a coffin slip, I'd, I'd appreciate, it that, appreciate that too. I really would like to have one of them coffin slips by Georgia Adventures. But, like I say, I don't know nothing about Etsy. I'm really not a big internet guy, period. Most I do is get on YouTube and watch other knife tubers. And there's a few other channels I like to watch. Like, I'm real, real big into racing, so I watch a lot of racing stuff. And drag racing. I like drag racing too. <laughs> but. I'm done rambling long enough. This here has been. My episode of. Warren Cliff Wednesdays. Let me show you both blades again. Let me open this one. Warren Cliff Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. And I hope y'all stay classy. You hear? <laughs>